soil issues, everyone. Please let this be a normal project. With Ms. Dixon, no way. Cruising on down Africa, you're relaxing, feeling good. Next thing that you know, you're seeing. Soil issues in the ground? Pesticides in the plants, degradation in the soil. Take a left into the forest, have a desert all around. On the African safari, stop overgrazing. Climb on the African safari, overcropping too. Stay flat on our African safari. Agriculture will slow. On the African safari, such a fine thing for the soil in Africa. Africa has the most soil erosion in the world. Does anyone know any factors from humans that contribute to the soil erosion? I know. Erosion is the actions and processes such as water flow, wind, and human farming that remove soil, rock, and other dissolved materials from one place on earth to another place. In fact, a lot of people mistake erosion for a fast process, when it is actually a very slow process that takes place over many years. Three of the main human contributions to soil erosion are overgrazing, overcropping, and deforestation. So humans hurt other humans by hurting the soil? That doesn't make sense. Well, technically, yes, but... But humans are hurting their environment, the species within it, and themselves by destroying habitats, crops, and the arable land. Plants are greatly affected by soil erosion because they need the nutrients, a substance that provides nourishment essential for growth and the maintenance of life, that are not in the soil, when it is eroded, so they cannot survive in the erosion-filled environment. Without the plants in the environment, the herbivores cannot survive. And without the herbivores, the carnivores cannot survive. And without everything, the omnivores cannot survive. Therefore, the entire food web is disrupted and the ecosystem cannot live. Plants and animals are being affected. For example, camel, fennec, fox, desert, tortoise, and cacti. The organisms need to face the harsh conditions and scarce water source, and they have adapted to this environment by maintaining water in themselves. Class, does anyone else know what hurts the land? Ooh, I know, I know the certification. Ha ha, losers. <laughs> Be nice, Cindy. That's correct, but it's not a good thing. Tell me why. <laughs> okay, fine. Desertification is the process of land becoming a desert, leading to agricultural difficulties and losing water sources. In the Sahara Desert, which is in Africa, y'all know, Desertification is happening and making the environment dry. This issue is more of a concern in Africa than other areas on Earth because of Africa's dry environment. Suffering from the intensive use of agricultural land and deforestation done by humans, the UN body says 12 million hectares of arable land are lost to desertification. But what about the plants? Well, actually, there are many agricultural concerns concerning soil issues. Anna, do you know what any of the soil issues or agricultural concerns are? Yeah. Pesticides are substances used for destroying insects or other organisms harmful to cultivated plants or animals. There are tremendous benefits from the use of pesticides in forestry, public health, and of course, agriculture. For example, pesticides help farmers produce more with less land, it helps keep food affordable, and it helps reduce waterborne and insected transmitted diseases. However, the overuse of pesticides can damage the soil and organisms living in it. Soil quality is important because it impacts soil use management on water and air quality and on human and animal health. Pesticides can also travel off-site and contaminate surface and groundwater as well as aquatic ecosystems. Class, you should be very concerned about these soil issues and maybe you are wondering what we could do to help these problems. There is actually a movement called the Green Belt Movement that mainly focuses on the desertification and soil erosion of Africa. Its main goal is to plant trees all around Africa in hoping of restoring the soil and land so organisms can live happily and healthily. Wow, can, can we, we do, do anything, anything to help? help? Well, actually, there are a few ways you can help with this from your very own home. You can donate money or you can just help conserve in your local environment. So, class, did you like learning about dirt? We were talking about dirt? I thought we were talking about soil. Oh, oh Anna! Anna.